In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Mighty King Salmon. You'll learn some fun facts about this fish, and then we'll head out to catch a few. This will be the first of many videos like this one, where we'll learn about many other species of fish, and then go catch one or two. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. Now some of these videos may go a bit longer than the usual 3 minutes or so, but I hope you don't mind. As the name implies, the Chinook salmon is the king of the five Pacific salmon species. Kings are highly sought after by both fishermen and connoisseurs of fine seafood, as reflected in their high price in the marketplace. Mature king salmon are typically around 36 inches in length and weigh 20 to 30 pounds, but they can get much larger, with the world record sport caught king salmon tipping the scale at 97 pounds and the largest commercially caught king weighing in at a whopping 126 pounds. Kings have a bright silver body with a bluish gray colored back, and they have small, irregular shaped black spots on their back the dorsal fin, and usually on both the upper and lower portion of their tail. One of the distinct features of the king salmon is its black mouth and black gums at the base of its teeth on the lower jaw. Smaller, younger king salmon are easily confused with silver salmon, which is why the unique feature of the black mouth and black gum is so important for identification. When king salmon spawn, they darken in color quite dramatically and turn into a dark olive or maroon color. King salmon are born in freshwater rivers and hang around for about a year before heading out to saltwater. Kings then spend one to five years out in the ocean feeding and growing until heading back to the freshwater river of their birth to spawn and then die. King salmon grow rapidly and can double their weight in just one summer. They eat a variety of different foods depending on their stage of development, including plankton, insects, smaller fish, squid, and crustaceans. Small king salmon that return after only one year out in the ocean are referred to as jacks, and they're usually male fish. Most rivers in Alaska that support king salmon usually just get one run of spawning fish, which happens sometime between May through July. King salmon can be caught with a variety of fishing methods and tackle, from trolling out in the deep waters of the ocean, fishing from beaches where kings move through, and fishing along rivers with spin fishing or fly fishing gear. No matter how you pursue the Mighty King though, you'll be in for quite an adventure as well as some delicious, nutritious meals if you're successful. Unfortunately, many King Salmon populations are in decline these days due to a variety of factors. As a result, King Salmon fishing is strictly regulated in places like Alaska. So those are some quick facts for you about the Mighty Chinook. Now let's go fishing! Here's my good buddy, King Ron, landing a massive 35-pound king salmon while fishing off a beach on Kodiak Island many years ago. Great fish, Ron. Unfortunately though, not all King Salmon fishing adventures end up so successful. Sometimes the big one gets away. Okay, reel, reel. Whenever you can reel, reel. Keep your rod tip up, keep your rod tip up. Okay, start reeling, start reeling. Oh, you gotta do it. Go on, reel, 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 reel. Oh, no! What? Oh, 
If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.